From visitmysmokies.com, it's the fun cast for the middle of the month, of January. Yeah, you should treat yourself. You work hard, go to the Smokies, where we're trying to get out of this tunnel of warm and wet weather. Maybe if we all turn on our lights and honk our horns. I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poutit. And as promised in my last fun cast, we did have some bumpy weather on Saturday. But look what happened on Sunday. That's a view there from uh, Look Rock. I think that was around sunset from the webcam there Sunday evening. Very nice. Uh, This winter season has certainly been not very wintry at times. There is some construction going on this winter that is affecting people that are trying to get to Cades Cove. It's closed to all traffic through February 29th. They're repairing a a tunnel uh, in that area. You can still hike to Cades Cove, but that's at least a 14-mile round-trip hike to the Cades Cove Loop Road for many of the Boundary Trailheads. So we've got some alternatives to Cades Cove to visit this winter. And there is one of them. How about the Alum Cave Trail? Pretty in the wintertime when there is some snow on it. That's a beautiful shot of uh, the waterfall. Laurel Falls is another popular trail. Rainbow Falls is another uh, good place to go. The Tale of the Dragon is interesting. That's, of course, the famous area with 300 curves in the space of 11 miles. Very popular for people on motorcycles. Uh, At this time of year, it can be uh, a nice change of pace if you're not quite so adventurous because it's easier to see around all of the uh, corners when you don't have any leaves on the trees. We realize that once you've done all that outdoor stuff and, you know, maybe you've done some hiking, that you work up an appetite. So a recent story in the Things to Know section of VisitMySmokies.com has a list of seven of the best downtown Gatlinburg restaurants on the parkway, including Tennessee's oldest pancake house. Bears in the Snow is what you can order at the Pancake Pantry. That's where you get the two bear-shaped pancakes with the powdered sugar. The Peddler Steakhouse has a great view of the Little Pigeon River while you're munching on steak. Calhoun's Barbecue. Oh, the smoke ring. You can see it in the food there. Delicious. There's the best Italian place on the parkway. Traditional American food. They got that at the Cherokee Grill. We've got ideas for you in the things to know section. I've got rain for you, too. Although eventually some cooler weather is coming and we'll put an end to these storms. Some thunder again on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Every day, temperatures will be into the 60s, maybe close to 70 once more on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday look like nice days to plan those longer hikes or outdoor excursions this week. It'll still be above average. And then as we head into next weekend, a decisive cold front is coming. That should bring some rain on Saturday. High temperatures will be into the upper 50s, then down to the 40s. Nice again on Sunday. And I think we're going to stay in the 40s. uh, Much cooler next week. Maybe put some snow back on top of Mount LeConte by then. By then, you'll have gotten another update because I'll see you again soon for the fun cast from visitmysmokies.com.